Yeah, we can <laughs> pick that up yeah. board. <laughs> yeah. Hello, then. We're back with uh, Loose Men After Hours. Again, joined by Tom Holland and Urban, both Southerners. And uh, let's kick off the show, Urban. I believe you've got a question. Yeah, the first question is, is more directed for you, but I can ask Tom a different variation of the question. The first one was for you. You're, you come from um, a powerlifting strongman background. I just wanted to know how you can, or how you have found the transition from powerlifting into arm wrestling, and is there any attributes you use from the powerlifting that you use in arm wrestling? Right. I, I think I've said this before on, on an interview, but I don't think it's helped me at all. Okay. Because I, I think the best arm wrestlers seem to, or, the, or the people who pick up the quickest seem to come from a non-sporting background. They might have trained a little bit, but because I found with powerlifting, with strongman, even when I was doing athletics, everything, you're pushing off, throwing it away from you. Okay, so yeah. So totally alien to get on a table and pull something across your body into you. Yeah, yeah. And I yeah. found for the first couple of years I was struggling weight training wise because my knee jerk is oh you need to do your your basics. Where I, it don't matter what I can bench press, that's not helping me on the table. Yeah. And I think I said before when I originally started training, um, I trained with Craig Sanders, and I could curl heavier dumbbells than he he weighed. Yeah. But I couldn't pull them across the table. Yeah. So, and I find people come into the sport who haven't got much of a background in, in um, lifting weights, especially, pick things up easier because the bodies haven't, you know, got into a groove of pushing away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, so what, you I I know what you mean. I know what you mean. You know, my right, and... help, the fact that I'm used to pain, so I enjoy the pain, like the pump, the pain, and little yeah. tears, they don't bother me. But as yeah. far as it, the, everything else from that background, I think it can be a hindrance. Okay, okay. And um, the question I have for you, Tom, is sort of the same, but um, do you find, what would you find more effective, weight training or purely arm wrestling? All right, as so in, you're saying... Like, to get it, better as an arm wrestler. To get if better as an arm wrestler. Yeah, sorry, carry on. Okay, so you're you're asking her if so if I've done like six days a week of weight training, or even like five say five days a week weight training, one day of arm wrestling, compared to six days a week arm wrestling, what yeah, would basically. I get? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, all right, I'm gonna say arm wrestling for both answers. Okay. Um, for that's for just becoming a better arm wrestler in general, like. Yeah. Because um, you're you non-stop doing it, so it's going to be drummed in your head, and everything's going to become more instinctual the more you do it. And even the power-wise, if you're hitting it a certain amount every day, the power's going to build up exactly in them positions that you need to. And yeah, the thing is, because you're doing it so much, um, your muscles are going to be tired, and you're going to be hitting other places that, on your arm that aren't tired, and you're going to be working all new muscle loads. So I think just in that way. If you're training for arm wrestling, if you had a choice between doing weights five days a week, arm wrestling once a week, or arm wrestling six to seven days a week, I'd arm wrestle the whole time. I think my myself, I think my ability will rise incredibly high. Yeah, based on that, because I found I've, cause I found I've, cause I've been arm wrestling three and a half years, I, I think something like around that time, and the week I got on the weights the better I've got on the table. I found it's only, say, the last six months, I'm now able to go back and think, right, let's get stronger again to complement my arm wrestling. Yeah. So do you think at your level now, um, more weight training would help you? Because you, cause you know everything about the table, everything, everything's developed. Or do you think for a whole career, you can just concentrate more on the table than weights? Oh, that's a good question, mate. Um, I was actually thinking about this earlier. I think it's been mentioned before. Um, if I'm not wrong, I think it was uh, Stoiker that mentioned it previously. If you've got a weightlifting background and you're starting arm wrestling, forget about the weights mm. for uh, the first three to six months. Start arm wrestling. Find out where all your strengths are on the table 
be as technical as you can, work it all out, find all your strengths and positions that you need. And then in that way, if you want to take arm wrestling seriously, you're going to have an idea then of what exercises to do with the weights that are going to benefit you better. Rather than just doing normal bicep curls or normal hammer curls or something, you're going to put your arm in the right position that you need to be in. You're going to tuck your elbow in a little bit more, say, or you can turn it on slightly onto the reverse curl, um, crank your wrist so a lot of it's on your fingers as well. There's so many things, but it's knowing arm wrestling first. As soon as you've got a good understanding of arm wrestling, I think that's a good time to start adding the weights into it a little bit um, just to gain that power in all them areas that you know you're targeting right. Um, How about you, Urban? As in, as in what? In, in what aspect? What, say for your first, up, up into your career now, do yeah. you think do you think um, weights would have got you further or do you think, would you put everything down to more table time? Uh, for me personally, when when I feel good, my, my mental state is good. If, if I'm lifting heavy weight or if, I'm, if my muscles are looking bigger than they normally are, I tend to do better in training. Maybe not too much in the competition, but um, I think for me personally, yeah, weight, weight is a big factor. Yeah. Weight is a okay. big factor for, for me, yeah. Okay, so, so I, what... I, 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 even, I even do, even though it's like 10, 10 kg curls, as a, as a warm up before before the, um, at, actually at the competition just to pump up my muscles a bit more. So you say that um, um your weight training when you do a lot of weight training you feel like you can transition it onto the table you feel a lot stronger. Yeah. Do you, do you feel since you've been arm wrestling that your strength has gone up in the gym in any way? Um nah not to be honest no. No. Because nah. of myself I've found that um obviously I've been doing it quite a lot of years now. Yeah. But I found there's certain things in the gym that I'm not so strong at, and there's some things in, for some strange reason, that I'm really good with. Yeah. Um, like a normal bench press, I can't, I can't bench press my body weight comfortably. Yeah. Um, it'll be a struggle, like 85, 90 kilo. I'll probably get four or five reps out of it. Dumbbell curls, I can curl. A lot, yeah. quite a lot of weight yeah. with the hand yeah. and wrist. I, I can kind of, I can hold a lot with my hand and wrist. Yeah. Dips, even dips, very. I feel really good with dips. But then um, there's other things like core strength, triceps, just normal tricep range. I'm not good with. Um, I've been doing that quite recently, so I'm building on that slowly. But I'm not at any sort of level with it. So I think arm wrestling with me has, in a way, helped me gain some strength somehow in the gym with certain little things. And I think that's helped me to realise where my strengths are in are gained in arm wrestling. So I know what to focus on in the gym to transition it back to it. Mm. So because of the arm wrestling to get me stronger there, if I do this, focus on that more in the gym, it's going to transition back to the table. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But I find I'm about 40% weaker now in the gym when we're talking okay. about general gym exercises i think i am 40 percent down but then our mess in pacific exercises they're climbing up so with you Urban, when you're saying about you, when you feel strong in the gym is that gym exercises for our resting or is are we talking general gym workouts um to be fair it's a bit of both because when, when i do go to the gym is eight percent for vanity and an extra 20 percent is maybe doing a few cable pulls on just for side pressure on arm wrestling. But um, basically, I like to I like to focus more on chest bench presses and um, and bicep curls. So really, the bicep curls is sort of helping my forearms, anyways. And the bench, where I bench, I bench with my wrist bent back. So that's in a way strengthening my um, wrist at the same time. So maybe those exercises have helped subconsciously in arm wrestling for me. Right. And Tommy, you're saying about your, your building your triceps up. Do you think that's important? Or is it just like a little private goal you have? Um, to be honest, we're going to find out when the competition's back on. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, I've only started like the triceps, seriously. Um, like I said, dips and that I've been good with, but I think I'm good with dips. And I found even with close in bench, like, holding close in on the bench press because yeah. my elbows are down the side of my body as it comes 
I feel really strong like that, weirdly. I feel stronger like okay. that than I do like a wide grip on a bench. And the same with the okay. dips. Because um, my elbows are close in, I feel really strong like that. But could have, when I'm on the cable, doing the actual um, tricep full, re- full motion uh, repetitions, it hurts. It hurts a lot. Um, from, here, from here going halfway down, it feels fine. But as soon as I fully extend my arm, that's when it starts really hurting because it's a muscle that I'm not trained. With with the um, um, extra training, do either of you worry about gaining too much weight or too much muscle and, and pushing yourselves out of your weight categories? I wish I could. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> for me, um, well, that, that, that was me, Tom's we, answer. Yeah. <laughs> for me, um, it's, it's essential for me to, to to keep in the gym because I'm naturally a very skinny guy. Uh, I don't have any fat on me. I, well, not I do have fat on me, but it's just it doesn't show. So. Keep, if I don't have any muscle on me, I just look, basically, I look like I'm skin and bones and I don't feel like I should look in it that way. So when when I do do the weights, it does, it helps and it makes me feel better mentally. But I don't think, I've, I've never, I haven't come across a, a point where I've put on too much muscle where I'm, I'm going above 75 where I can't bring it back down, if that makes any sense. So if you were both doing um, going to say say the um, the WAF World Championships, are you, would you both be happy with where your weights are at, or would you want to drop down or? Um, oh, me or you, Tom first. <laughs> yeah, do you know what? I've had enough of excessive amounts of dieting. Um, I won't ever lose more than two, three kilos for a competition again. Don't matter what level it is, I wouldn't do it again. Um, yeah. It's not that I, f- I think by the next day I've regained like most of my strength back, if not all of it. Um, mm. I've done some really bad weight cuts in the past and that, and just them um, they put me off. Because how much do you um, weigh now, Tom? How much you know? Um, you off? Right now I'm about 82 kilo, 81, so 82 at the end of the night. In your head, so... your limit would be um, 80 kilos. Really? You drop yeah. down. To- yeah, I'll go to 80. I, yeah, I don't think I'll go 75. Mm-hmm. Um, the re- and the reason for that is you've got people like uh, Viral Dobrin in uh, 80 kilos, World Championship, European Championships, and he's doing rather well. And I think I can give him a really... I think I'll beat him next time. So... And I don't want to go... I don't want to diet down because I don't want it to be like I'm going for the easier option in a way. It's not an yeah. easier option at all. Like there's nothing between them weight classes in strength at all. So and that's another reason why I think what's the point in cutting down that low when the jump's not even that much? It's, there's nothing in it strength wise. So yeah, I think with a WAF or a European Championships, I'd just go to the nearest weight I am. If I'm 82, I'll cut down to 80. I wouldn't go down to 75. Right. And how about you, Irvin? You what? What do you walk on there? About 70? Do you or 70? Yeah, 70. Yeah. And um, what what's the maximum you, if to, if you had say you were going to the WAF World Championships, would you cut to sixty five or would you be happy going in at seventy? I would I would like to. I've never done a water cut before, so I would I would like to maybe get up to 85, 85 so not eighty five seventy five maybe seventy three and try and do a water cut for weigh and and then hopefully put it back on and see how my body reacts to that. But um, that's that's what I would do for um, any big competition. Well, not not big competition, where competition where I would have to travel, get on a plane to, to travel yeah, that's to another country. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, interesting. So what um, with you, Tom? So you would um, compete at eighty. You wouldn't go any lower. How would you do the cut? Uh, get on the plane, you land, and at the beginning of the weekend, eighty-three kilos. What would you do to get down to the eighty? You lose a six pound. I don't even know, really. Um, well, I do, I do know, but it's, <laughs> 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 all right. Well, it is. Um, oh God, you get a lot of energy from chocolate, don't you? Yeah. So it, you can replace a meal with just a tro- couple of chocolate bars, and a meal will sit on me a lot longer. Then chocolate bars will say. No, I'm not just saying that as a thingy, but 
And, um... So you'd starve yourself then, basically, would you? Yeah, almost. I'll just, I'll just, I'll starve myself to the point that I'm not actually, I'll, I'll still make sure that I'm full, but I won't, not, I won't eat more than I actually have to. Yeah. I'll only, I'll only eat when I get hungry. So no, yeah, yeah. Um, I, I, I have done that before. <laughs> so, Urban, you would do a water cut, would you? Yeah, that's, that's the water that's, and cut it out, and yeah, that's that's the main goal. To say say if I know maybe in November. We'll go, um, I'll be going away to a comp. I'll try and gradually get up to walking around at 75 and then gradually 7, 73 and try and do a walk up before the comp. But um, as, as Tom was saying, I have, I have, there have been certain scenarios where a couple of days before comp, I am a bit overweight. So I have literally stopped eating <laughs> or only <laughs> eating once, once a day or half portions just to get back down to, um, into the 70s. So this would be a good a good thing to do. You know, when we were talking about um, having coaching sessions or things, it might be good to have some sort of template out for everyone to follow if they need to lose weight safely. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, especially yeah, exactly. if, especially say we're all on the British team and we're going abroad, it'd be a good a good way for everyone to share information so everyone's not doing their own thing and struggling. Yeah, of course. Like, yeah, no, that's a good shot. Yeah, that's a very good shot. Right, guys, we'll leave it there then. It's great no to speak worries. to you both. Good and to see you both. See you at the, at the next tournament. Yeah, definitely. Nah, we'll, we'll definitely be there. Don't forget, 100%. everyone out there, like and subscribe. Bye then. Cheers, guys. See you later.